How well do you handle yourself in a crisis? I've got one tip for you today that'll go a long way. Welcome back, leaders, and congratulations on taking one more step towards becoming one of the great leaders of tomorrow. No leader likes to find themselves in a crisis situation, but sometimes they're unavoidable. And often, how we react to the crisis is more important than the crisis itself. And the most important tip I have for handling a crisis situation is to approach that crisis with an attitude of accountability. You may remember us bringing up accountability when we talked about defining our core values and our key leadership traits. And when it comes to crisis management, all accountability really means is recognizing that there's a problem that needs to be solved and recognizing that you have a role in solving the problem. When we're faced with managing a crisis, the first step we always have to take is to truly admit to ourselves that there's a problem. Ignoring a crisis and hoping that it will go away is almost never a good approach. So accepting that there's a problem and that we're going to have to have some role and take some action in solving that crisis is our first step towards taking accountability and managing that crisis. After you've thoroughly investigated and found out the root causes of the crisis, the next step is to take accountability for any role that you or your team might have had in creating the crisis, and also to hold others accountable for their role in creating the crisis. And this isn't about assigning blame or pointing fingers as to who caused the crisis. What you're really trying to do here is figure out who has the ability to influence the factors that can be used to solve the problem. After you've worked with your team and other appropriate leaders to come up with a solution to the crisis, make sure that you own your role in implementing the solution to the crisis and hold others accountable to do the same. Another key aspect of accountability in a crisis is to make sure that you're communicating with leadership in your chain as appropriate. Ideally, what you want to do is identify the crisis early and then identify a solution to leadership before they find out about the problem. But sometimes in a true crisis, it's important to let people know about the problem before you've come up with a solution and let them know you're working on it. As the saying goes, bad news doesn't get better with age. So it's very important to determine early in a crisis who you need to tell and what you need to tell them. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And let us know if you've handled a crisis situation and how you've handled it in the comments. Check back later in the week because we're gonna have a blog post that outlines our five steps for crisis management in detail. And the best way to get that, click on that globe off to the right. That'll get you subscribed to our email list and bring all of our content direct to your inbox. Thanks again for watching and remember, the future is out there. Lead the way.